Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm making this uh, late night live vlog to cement and continue to clear up a lot of errors that have been made by the mainstream media regarding the Oakland Athletics, City of Oakland, Howard Terminal Ballpark Project. And I want to make one thing clear. This is a passion project for me. The only person paying me to do this is me. I can't say that for the other organizations that have digital media companies. Hey, Richard, how you doing? Hey, Richard, how you doing? Uh, I can't say that for Richard's one of our vloggers. Hey, by the way, Richard, uh, got a special event for you. I'll, I'll give you a buzz later in the week. but. I can't say that for the other media. I can't say that for the San Francisco Chronicle, which happens to have Hearst Media Services behind it, which does reputation management, or the Bay Area News Group as another one. Um, from AML Scott um, and uh, Richard, I didn't. Hey, Richard, why don't you, if you want to help us by you know spreading that information, why don't you um, get this invite link? And come on in and tell us about it that way, because I've, I've got a kind of a spiel here. Yeah, if you look, use that link and then go on the camera, then you can tell us about them, make my job easier. <laughs> then we can get on with the other stuff um, and talk, give us, you know, give us the scoop, right, as it were. But at any rate, um, my point is that there's so much misinformation about this project in Oakland. Uh, oh, he doesn't have video. Oh, great. Okay. Um, oh, better yet. You know what? I'll just call you. How's that? Uh, do it the old fashioned way. Funny we say that, right? Richard. <clears throat> Excuse me for a second. And uh, there he is. Put him on speaker. You'll get it done the easy way. Richard. Hey, Zenny. How are you, pal? I'm all right. I'm all right. All right. So like, so like Matthew McConaughey. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of, kind of the, the, the gist. <laughs> which, what you got here? What you talking about? You said uh, Cabal's so, tweet. Uh, can... Dave Cavill is in Las Vegas. Uh, the purportedly meeting with with uh, people in Las Vegas regarding relocation. Mm -hmm. um, and he's been talking about going to Vegas, you know. Uh, apparently, uh, I did hear or I did read one tweet that uh, reported that uh, he had actually met with uh, Mark Davis. Uh, I don't Ooh. know if there's any truth behind that, but oh, I definitely believe that. <laughs> the one that's drawing him the heat is he attended a Las Vegas Knights playoff game tonight Ooh. and uh, tweeted uh, from the game. Uh, with some video and stuff, uh, not very much to it, you know, just like, uh, you know, uh, Stanley Cup playoffs and tagged uh, Vegas Knights. And it's like the most tone deaf uh, thing I've seen in uh, quite some time. And I've seen a lot of tone deaf stuff uh, from, you know, whether it was Mark Davis or, uh, even, uh, you know, uh, local officials and stuff. But this was, I've seen some, some dumb boneheaded things. And if there was ever a way you wanted to uh, alienate your fan base, <laughs> it was doing that. Uh, are, you, are you talking it, about the one where he writes, or he tweets, wow, Stanley Cup playoffs, Golden Knights? Yeah. Let me put this on. Uh... <laughs> And a lot of people made, you know, uh, a, a good uh, observation that, you know, the Vegas uh, aviators are playing at home right now. Like, why didn't you go to one of their games? You know, I, I, I get what's going on. They, you know, they're rolling out the red carpet for them like they were doing to Mark Davis. Um, at least with Mark, they had done it after the fact of him actually 
uh, announcing he's going to move to Las Vegas. Uh, but, you know, Cowell's just, just rolling it out there. There are 608. Um, there are 608 comments here. Let's see what they are. <laughs> Very few of them are nice. Uh, and uh, Dave says, uh, why are you showing us this? And... Yeah, I mean, he should realize that the majority of his followers are Oakland Athletics fans. Uh, right. Uh, and then um, Amado Gonzalez says, why are you showing us this? And, uh, uh, was, uh, and then he says, he's full of crap, Amado. It's clear as day. He's now resorting to trolling Oakland fans. He never loved us. Nobody does but us. We all he got. And uh, Bay Area Sports Nerd says, uh, I'm going to I'm gonna add in with uh, – Bad look. <laughs> I, oh uh, no! In fact, why don't you? You know what? You know what? You know what? Why don't you vlog this one? <laughs> I, I wanted to. Um, I, I my phone's busted right now. Oh, oh uh, okay. I dropped it, so my so my camera's not so good right now. Uh, but uh, it's it's You're ugly. Get your new phone. You, know, you would it would it would make you think that. The stuff that I've seen lately, uh, the, the reporters, the st uh, stuff I got out of the, the last uh, uh, community be benefits steering committee meeting, it really looks like they're trying to sabotage their own efforts. Yeah. 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 N N Nayan Sheath writes, been a diehard A's fan since age 11. I'm now 44. This makes me okay with giving up my first love. And just being a casual MLB fan once the A's leave. That Dave, thank you for this gift. I'm 100% done giving Fisher any more of my income. Well, wow. I mean, they could they could suffer a season ticket dump in the middle. Um, in the well, middle of the season, you know. Well, let me tell you what I also did. Okay. Uh, I wrote a breakup letter of sorts to Dave Cavill. Ah. Um, I sent him an email. To his uh, his personal, you know, his 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 account at, at for the A's, uh, and uh, kind of told him, look, I, I've had enough. Um, I, I've I've been on the fence about asking for a refund for the the money I paid. I, I've been pissed off the whole season because uh, I bought into their uh, flex plan, hmm. uh, which in my level I got the second tier. Uh, which worked out to about fifty dollars a ticket, and then when the tickets went on sale, turned out most of the tickets were around thirty bucks, and I don't get any benefit of the, the in between. So basically, I overpaid for most of the season, and I was pretty ticked off about that. And basically, the the response I got from at least ticket services, Dave Cavill wouldn't even respond. Oh, uh, no, he doesn't respond to that sort of thing. Yeah, but it was, it was take it or leave it, you know, was, was pretty much it. What, wait, 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 what did they say? What did they say? You said take it or leave it. Yeah, what? Were the well, that was, that's the gist of it. What was the they, specific they words? To, they wide well, asked, you know, I'm like, hey, you know, uh, the, average, the average price of these games is this much, you know. Uh -huh. um, and they're like, well, you're getting such a great value. And, you know, uh, if you were to buy these games, you know, it would be this much. And there's there's nothing that we can do about it. Uh, but I'm like, but I didn't pay for those games. I paid for these ones, and these are the difference. You know, uh, and just, just the way it the, the back and forth went, that was kind of the, where they were basically telling me without telling, saying it in, you know, those words. But, you know, I, I can read between the lines. You know, take it or leave it, you know, because they were like, well, we'll give you your money back, like all of it. And you can just go away, you know. Um, and I was like, well, you know, go to games, you know, uh, maybe I'll get used, I'll use them at some point. But it was, it left a sour taste in my mouth. I was like, well, I'm not doing this again. But uh, anyways, long story short, wrote him an email spelled it out for him and no one certain terms that you know first that one that was bad i said mm -hmm. but then the continued uh playing out in the media of how uh you know the the woes of relocation and 
uh, I mean, that was a slap in the face for a lot of fans. Um, you know, to say something like that when there's the process isn't even done. And then, uh, and then tonight, I'm like, this is just it. I'm like, I, they, they, until they can sit down and really in good faith negotiate with the city, I, I can't do this anymore. I quit. I, you know, I can't even enjoy a ball game lately because it's, it's clouded in relocation. Um, well, this is a bad one. Northside Pigeon tweets, I liked you until I saw this tweet. Disrespectful as fuck. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, and that's this is one of the you know what? Of all in all the responses. history, you know, in all the history of relocation battles between the city of Oakland and either the Raiders, the Warriors, or the A's, this is the single most damning, damningly insulting tweet I have ever seen. You know, and I've seen a lot, okay? Yeah. Uh, this beyond measure takes it. There isn't anything ever done, not even by Mark Davis in his worst moments, because Mark Davis isn't on social media. Yeah. Uh, neither by the Warriors, who are smart enough not to use their PR for such things, okay? No. Then there's yeah. Dave. Yeah. There's Dave Collins, okay? And Dave has to bring this, uh, I say, kindly youthful, youthful naivety, all right, to the table. He's never done this sort of thing before. He's never handled a large scale project like this. And as I personally have said to him, you know, young man, you're not handling this right. And he is young, okay? And he's in a position where he could learn a lot from people who've been there. I formed the Super Bowl bid single-handedly. I've been in situations this, like this a bunch of times. All right, you don't do this. You know, you don't use social media to upset your fan base. You use it, if anything, if you have something like this, you know, it's sensitive. First of all, you don't go to the game. You wait. You don't do. You know what this is the equivalent of? This is kind of like President Bush, w, George W. saying, "Mission accomplished," when he hasn't done anything. I mean, this, you know, for any number of reasons, all any of these could fall apart, okay? Yeah. And what he would be left with is nothing but the bad behavior that he brought to the table in being the steward of this project. I, it's like he, It's like he didn't go to business school or he doesn't have a mentor. He just does things and he doesn't think about it. And that's really what this was. This is like, I mean, I can't even, you know, as a guy who's, you know, been a frat guy, I can't, you know, if, and I might add, you know, friend of, yeah, white frats, if you want to go with that, okay? I can't even put this on that. You know, this is, I have enough friends who are developers who would never do this sort of thing, ever. I mean, this is ridiculous, okay? It's completely <laughs> it's just, Right, it, but it's okay. I mean, yeah. I mean, he just doesn't like. I I tweeted out. I retweeted a tweet I saw, and I'll repeat it. He is not one hundred percent. Not even going to acknowledge this. This is intentional. The man isn't stupid. And what he's trying to say is, "Wow, look, see, what he should be saying is not throwing it in our face that this that." We don't have this kind of atmosphere. What he should be saying is, I'm looking forward to the opportunity to build this kind of fan base in Oakland. And that would basically send the signal to everybody, hey, you know what? I'm coming home. You know, I got work to do, right? <clears throat> but he don't care. He's not going to do that. Uh, it's, it's a, it is this – is, this is a moment where I just said, you know what? Kiss it goodbye because – they, if they want to leave, if they think they got something going in Vegas, sayonara. Yeah, they're supposed to uh, go to Portland. Well, I know. That's part of the schedule. I said that. I actually broke that Next story. Week. I broke yeah. that story ahead of anybody else. This just I mean, it's like, what, what is he going to do? Take in a Portland Trailblazers game now? You know? Yeah. Uh, and, and, and his, I, I, don't, I don't think he's going to Nashville. 
because I don't see that Nashville's rolled out the red carpet uh, yet. We'll see, but there's no, they don't really have any indication to do anything, you know? Right. Uh, but, um, and so, but this is, this is another one. The subtext here is not subtle, not clever. and only serves to hurt the feelings of diehard A's fans without moving a single Oakland City Council vote. Been on your side and have advocated for the Howard Terminal ballpark. This is just weak sauce, Dave. Don't troll your own fans. That's exactly what he did. He trolled his own fans. Let me do this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to walk through with you. Hey, folks. Or, hey, everyone. I'm going to do this. I'm going to walk through the problems with the term sheet and explain tax increment financing in brief. And then I'm going to stop this. Um, I'm going to stop this. Uh, um I'm going to stop this uh, live stream and then make a new one based on, you know, specifically this one, this issue. But uh, let me let me go. Let me do this. In fact, let me think this through. Um, so I still want to. Yeah. Let me let me just get some things out of the way. First of all, folks, the one thing I want to make clear that uh, that's different from this is and then when I go back to the term sheet, it almost seems like I always feel weird doing the term sheet because I'm thinking, what difference does it make? He doesn't care, you know, but um, I do think it's important as I started from the outset about this. All right. To get out of the way, uh, the problem with the term sheet that he put together and the misunderstanding. Um, and, you know, it could very well be that they just threw this thing together and I'm beginning to see if this is the case. So maybe it's a good idea to tie this together. Right. But I think that he just threw this together or they did just to say, take it or leave it. And they don't really care if what mistakes they made. All right. So let me re read it real quick and not in this fashion that's boring. Um, so that we can move on to the, you know, other live stream of basically what, what the blank is wrong with Dave Cabal. Cabal. Because that's what the next live stream is going to basically ask. Dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? Okay. Um, but anyway, he writes, okay, our I'm going to outline this. Our development term agreement sheet provides that. And I'm going to outline these right here like that. I don't know if you can see this, Richard, or not. Um, says the Oakland Athletics oh, will, will privately yeah. finance a $1 billion architecturally significant and state-of-the-art ballpark on Oakland's waterfront. Okay, that's fine. Here's the thing, though. It's going to be more like $2 billion here if it's built in Oakland. Uh, the athletics, and this is not only that, this is acknowledged by a number of officials, both with the city and with the A's, okay? Two, the Oakland Athletics will fully fund all on-site project costs through private financing and project-generated revenues, including public parks and environmental remediation and sea, sea, and sea level rise, okay? Now, this number two, let me highlight this, okay? This is, is incorrect because... The project generated revenues should be the property tax. The property tax is paid by the firm as the private owner of the ballpark. David better not be asking for property tax abatement. Okay. Um, hold on one second here, folks. Uh, I'll be right back. All right, folks, I had to take that. Uh, sorry. You were there? Hello. Hey, sorry about that. Hey, Zachary, uh, how you doing? Okay, anyway, as I was saying, okay, this is wrong, where he says that uh, we'll fully fund all project pro costs through private financing. No, let me put it this way. Uh, the project costs they will find, there's two separate things here, okay? Let me, you know, regard en face, all right? First of all, that's French for look at my face, all right? First of all, um, the private monies that the, the they spend will go to building the structure, okay? The property tax monies that they go to will go to tax increment financing to form a bond issue to then pay for the infrastructure. 
what the A's are trying to make it look like is that all their monies and not the city are going to the environmental remediation and everything else. That's wrong. That is a, that tantamounts to basically telling a fib. Okay. And why they chose to do this in this fashion, I don't know, but the wording is wrong. That's not correct. And they should not be asking for a, ta a property tax abatement and then relying on the other structures around it to pay it because that's again on the come. This is wrong. Okay. Um, yeah, the athletics will commit to un using unionized labor in the construction of the ballpark and operation. Fine. The Oakland Athletics will earmark $450 million of project-generated revenue to be used for community benefits such as affordable housing. The city of Oakland will direct how those, uh, and the community will direct how those funds are sent, spent. That's incorrect because unless the city is like letting the A's handle it, which they shouldn't do, a cold reading of SB 293 Beal, excuse me, 293 Skinner, Beal is the other redevelopment uh, legislation, but a cold reading of SB 293 Skinner specifically says that the taxing and financing generated revenue is to be determined by the city through the agency that it's supposed to create to handle this project. And it says nothing about the Oakland athletics, which are mentioned in the legislation as the one that earmark the 450 million. That's wrong. Why is it, you know, it's wrong for the A's to do that. It's wrong for the city to allow the A's to do this. Because the rate of growth and assessed value could be such that, let's say if it's at 4%, and we're only talking about $2 billion for the stadium itself, which is the only thing we could really be certain that would be built, all right? That would be $1.4 billion by the 40th year of the collection of the tax, the tax assuming a 4% increase in assessed value annually. So the way tax income and financing works is, is very simple. This platform that I'm holding here, all right, represents um, the base year assessed value, okay? This is year one. I'm gonna be highlight this. this is year one, okay? Year two, let's say this is at zero. Let's say at year one, it's at one. So one minus zero is one. You take that times the property tax rate of 1%, and that gets you the revenue for the first year. You dump that into the pool, right? This is this is the collecting pool in my hand, okay? This is the collecting pool. Second year, you make this is fixed. Go one year, we're already done, two years. So two minus zero is two. You take two, you dump in, and now we've got three, and so on and so on and so on. Okay. And remember that two. Minus zero is two, right? And 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 then and then that's the, the increment, excuse me. But then you multiply that two also times the rate. So each iteration of the process is this. It's the current year's assessed value, let's say is three now. So three minus the base year, which is zero, is three times the tax rate, which gives you the revenue for that year three. Okay. And you do the same thing with four. Four minus zero is four. Four times the tax rate gives you the revenue. And you keep doing that for 40 years. That's tax increment financing, okay? So if you know Proposition 13, you know that Proposition 13 is largely fixed at 1%. The only time that there's more than that if you're a homeowner, you know this. If you don't, if you say something like, yeah, you hope they don't raise our taxes, you're not a homeowner, okay? Um, a homeowner knows this because the only way that your taxes can be raised with Prop 13 is through what are called voter proof subventions, increases. We've had several of them. So the actual property tax rate to pay those subventions is roughly one point. Two three percent, but those subventions will be waived in the case of redevelopment of this. Okay, so that's very important to know. That's very important to know. So all this jazz about people are yelling about oh raising taxes. When you say stuff like that, you don't know Prop Thirteen. All right, it doesn't mean that you can't have other types of charges and taxes made. 
but you have to be specific about how it's done because when you are, you know how hard it is. It's not like they can just say, oh, we'll raise a tax. No. You have mellow rural, rural you have mellow, mellow rules, community investment funds, but that has to be voted on by the property owners in the district. Okay. You have a hotel tax that's collected, but the hotel tax does not go to this project. So that's out. Okay. So this, all this jazz about raising taxes is in, you know, property taxes paid by people is are raised by, this jazz is raised by people who have no idea what they're talking about. Like in the East Bay Times uh, piece that I picked apart a day ago plus, all right? Same thing. Tax increment financing, that property tax, yes, it normally goes to five different taxing agencies. The City of Oakland, County of Alameda, BART, AC Transit, and the Flood Control District. But here's the catch. It's a big one. The formula that I walked you through with a base year assessed value going up has a doubling factor. It's a cumulative so that by the end of its 40th year, you're going to get more money than you would on a normal like yearly collection. That's the beauty of tax increment financing. So when the county of Alameda says they want, hey, give us our 35 percent, if you're smart, you're doing your calculations. You're saying, okay, what are they actually going to get on a regular annual basis over 40 years without the cumulative formula tax increment financing? You're going to find it's a lot less. You're also going to find that the county hoodwinked you into giving them more money. You see what I'm getting at? There's a science here that's decades old that many of the people who run the city of Oakland now don't even know because we haven't had redevelopment in our lives in a decade. And the people that were used to doing it, like myself, the city has never retained and doesn't call on for assistance. The consultants that they've hired have no fingertip feel for this stuff. I do. I do. Okay? So keep all that in mind. So for those of you like Zachary, like, I don't know, they'll raise taxes and all that. Read Prop 13. Read Proposition 13. Read SB 293 Skinner. All right? Read its cousin document that enables the ballpark infrastructure district as well. The assembly bill, 2114, I believe it is. Okay, read those. The simple lesson here is this. Laws produce calculations and development. That's true for any city. For example, Harris County, where Houston's located, says that you cannot use the city's general fund to backstop a bond. In other words, as a fail safe in case of bond defaults. So you really have to be careful how you structure your bonds. In other words, how much revenue you bring in versus cost, that sort of thing, okay? This is very serious stuff. Which gets me back to the athletics term sheet. Uh, excuse me. Uh, here. And, uh, whoops. Here, okay? And I'll go back to this. I'm almost, almost home, folks. Almost home. The ballpark project will be both environmentally sustainable project as can help. Okay, hope so. All right. Uh, a full build out, the ballpark, all right, will bring approximately 951 million to the city's Oakland General Fund. Full build out. Do you know what full build out is? All right. Full build out. Full build out. Full build out is pure and simple $12 billion. Folks, no one ever reaches full build out. Now, let me show you what this thing looks like as far as full build out, okay? And why you really have to understand what it is that you're critiquing and looking at because otherwise you'll get snowed fast. And uh, because it's very important to keep all of this in mind when you're doing these projects. First of all, you never, the city, and Libby, I don't know if Libby did this because the A's offered to pay the staff or whatever, but she gave up the store to them and didn't have a staff and doesn't have a staff that really understands 
what it's giving up in the process. There's a lot of mess here, um, right here. Okay. So let me go back to changing so you can see what's going on here. This is a new one. This is the gallery of the project itself. This is the actual land. See that? You probably see that. That's the project site. Now, guess what, folks? The whole the twelve billion dollars of total build out is right there. That's the ballpark and the anticipated buildings. All right, build out is unclear because the city should be asking, well, Dave, are you guys the master developer? You mean to tell me you guys have $12 billion to build all of these buildings? Okay. That's what's said here. You got me, Richard? R Richard, did I lose you? No, no, I'm good. Okay. All right. So, um, so that's here. Okay. And um, now let's go to the other part of this, and then I'm about to wrap up. Excuse me. We're almost home, folks. This is what that will look like. You see the ballparks at the center, but you see these other numbers like two, three, four, all that? Those are all the different parcels of buildings. There's where your 12 billion comes from. But who develops that? That's not made clear. It's great to have a land use wish list that guides your zoning. But the city of Oakland needs to clarify who the master developer is. Is it the athletics? If that's the case, it means you have smaller developers of these different par par parcels, like hotels, for example. That's a complicated sword. Does that mean you're going to have Marriott hire its own developer for a hotel? That's generally what happens if it's Marriott. We don't know. Okay? A person can say a lot of things. But unless you know the questions to ask, you'll end up getting snowed by them. And much of the mainstream media, with the exception, well, they don't consider me mainstream, a blogger, right? The mainstream media has been snowed by this. And in turn, they misled many of you. Okay? And that's what's going on here. It's, as I said before, I'll say it again. It's the blind leading the blind. I don't mean to be insulting, but it is. And I told Dave Caval, you should not issue a final build out cost because people are not going to understand in the media, particularly what you're trying to say, and they're going to misinterpret it. And as soon as he did that, that happened and he did nothing to pull it back because he doesn't care. You can see today he doesn't care. I hate to say that about him, but look, this is not personal. This is only business. You should know, Godfather. <laughs> I'm stealing a line. Okay. So, you know, I hope that clears everything up. Hey, Red, how you doing? Hey, Dave, how you doing? Uh, Dave, I'm explaining tax increment financing here, going through some controversy. I'm about to wrap this up real quick uh, and then go into a new live stream, talk about Dave Caval just for a little bit in his era. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. Uh, but if you have any other questions, please type them into the comments on the YouTube version of this here on YouTube video, right? And uh, I'll answer them in a, a follow up. But what was written by the East Bay Times is completely incorrect, all right? The A's, it's very simple to understand. The A's pay a property tax to the agency. That property tax becomes tax increment revenue. That revenue is used to float a bond. The bond pays for infrastructure financing and also community improvements, which can be used around the city as per SB. 293 Skinner. It's that simple. So it is a but for. It's designed that way. It's in the legislation. There are consequences for not following the legislation. Among them, if something happens to go wrong, like for example, payments don't arrive or certain on time or something else, or maybe a corporate structure set up that shouldn't have been, one party, the athletics could actually sue the city for not following SB 293 Skinner. That's the situation the city of Oakland has gotten itself in by allowing the athletics to produce the term sheet. That term sheet should have been a joint production from the start. It's a gigantic error. It's boneheaded. And it shows the city has no idea what it's structured or doing. We have had an enormous brain drain, drain of people who done 
do this sort of thing. So Dave Compton says, so the A's are going or staying? You're missing my point. Dave, don't do that. We will not be friends if you do that. If you listen to the details, I will love you. But if you do that, we won't be friends. This is about details. I'm sick of this in our society. It's one contributor as to why we are the way we are in general. Pay attention to the details of things. I don't care how boring they are. This is where the rubber meets the road. All right. I'm closing this. We're going to get to the, the fun part. All right. I got to love that rain red. Look at this. Look at that beautiful. Look at that beautiful. Dave, I love you, man. But Dave, look at this. Look at this beautiful helmet. Look, 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 look at this, folks. I mean, look at that. Look at that thing. Look at that. <laughs> no, that's cool. I just got to get that out of the way. That's cool. All right. Okay, folks. Dave Caval in a second. We'll be back. Stay tuned. That, end, that ends this broadcast. <laughs>